Welcome to Electro Online. Here we're going to explore how changing the resistance will have an effect on the phase shifting circuit. So what we're going to do is put in various values of the resistor. And of course, notice that the output voltage is the same as the voltage across the resistor. So by increasing the resistor, you have a larger share of the input voltage being dropped across the resistor, so therefore you should have a larger output voltage. And you can see as the resistance increases as we go down the table, you can see that the output voltage will increase as well. Notice that the input voltage is 40 volts, so by the time the resistor is 100 ohms, while we keep the capacitor reactance as 25 ohms, because the frequency is 200 hertz, and the capacitance is 200 microfarads. And because of that, since the voltage drop across the resistor is therefore much larger than the voltage drop across the capacitor, you almost get the entire voltage drop across the capacitor. Now, oop, notice that this is probably, this should be plus, so let me fix that right here. These should be pluses, not negatives, because if the impedance is negative, then the voltage output will be positive, so we'll have positive angles or positive phase shift using this particular circuit. So now what you can see is, as the resistance becomes very small, you have a very large phase difference because then the capacitor reactance becomes uh, much more important in the circuit than the resistance, so much more voltage is dropped across the capacitor, so you have a much greater phase shift when we have small resistors, a much smaller phase shift when we have large resistors, but when we have a small resistor and a very large phase shift, we have a much smaller voltage output across the resistor, or the output voltage is much smaller, and so therefore, depending upon what you're trying to accomplish, if you want to keep most of your voltage, and you want to have a large phase angle, then you need to change the circuit. The simple circuit will not do the job for you, and we'll show you some examples of how to augment the circuit so that you can then have a larger phase difference for the output voltage compared to the input voltage without dropping too much of the output voltage. But at least here you can see how a changing resistor changes the circuit as a whole. And that's how it's done.